Good evening, friends. So today I'm going to share with you a book to help you make your work. It is called, um, let's move it this way, um, First Book of Art. So on the inside, the first page we're going to look at is called, um, at the top, let me see if I can center this for you all. Here we go. It's called Funny Faces. It says, how many fruits can you see in this painting? Can you spot where the artist put the date? So on this side, way over here, so in the center, let's see if we can get real close. So what fruits and vegetables do you see in there? Can you tell where the artist put the date when they created this artwork? So let's move it back. Look closely at the painting. Do you see a face or a lot of fruits and vegetables? It's kind of a puzzle picture painted to amuse the artist's rich clients. So amuse means to kind of like joke with and make fun with. So on the other page, let's see here, there we go. So, um, they used different um, things from magazines to create the artwork on this side. It kind of looks like they used real things from nature or fruits and vegetables to make it as well. So um, attached, I created a Google Doc that has an example of what mine looks like and the original artwork on the other page that we just talked about. So. The artist made a big collage full of different fruits and vegetables, like you will be doing. So if you have ads from newspapers, um, for example, I get ads in the mail from Aldi's, and I also get ads from Schnucks. But if you don't get ads, you can just draw different fruits and vegetables to make up your face or maybe somebody in your family's face or a friend as well. You could also, for fun, use real fruit and vegetables and just send me a photo and then of course eat those fruits and vegetables. Um, but ask your parents before you do that and get all that food out. I thought it would be really fun to make a silly looking artwork that is a real painting in real life. So, check out the attached Google Doc as well, and remember, you're using scissors and glue or tape, so you can use liquid glue, a glue stick, tape, scissors. You may need to um, use a pencil to kind of outline your face. So in that artwork, they did a profile. So a profile is when you use you do this side. So if I turn from this side, you just see half my face, right? So that's what that would be your profile. Let me go back to the page. I just lost it. There we go. So this artist uses, has their profile, right? So let's see where that date was. I'm curious because I, oh, it's hidden on their shoulder. Let's see if you can see. It's really hard to see. 1573 on their shoulder. Yeah. There we go. So, and you can also see all those fruits and veggies in there on their head. So, with mine, I kind of, it looks pretty funny. But that's the whole point for just to be a fun project to do. And you're going to make a collage. So when you're putting your pieces together, you can put them really close. You can overlap them a little bit, but you don't want your pieces to go right on top of each other. Okay? So you're going to put them kind of next to each other or maybe slightly overlapping, but not super overlapping or else you won't get to see everything you put together. Okay? So um, I would do um, kind of arrange them first before you glue them down. Okay? So with mine, I, I drew an outline first and then I filled it in with newspaper, okay? So 
I would make sure that you do that as well. So have fun.